So this is the Jackery Explorer 1500. And this is the first model that actually charges faster than the others. Typically it's like seven to nine hours, but this one can charge in four hours. So let's see if it's worth our time. This one's fancy. And even though this stuff is usually underpowered, I must say that Jackery is pretty high in quality. Like these cables look great. I love how they never change the design of a Jackery, they just make it bigger. This looks identical to a 240 watt hour, but it's just big. So on the front we have a display with the state of charge indicator and it tells you how many watts is going in and how many watts is going out. Then we have the DC input where we connect the solar panels or the wall adapter. We have USB quick charge, an 1800 watt AC pier sine wave inverter which is actually pretty good considering the capacity of this pack. And then a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter receptacle. And then on this side we have a light. But let's see if it's actually powerful. So I give you stickers more stickers, and a manual. And inside it says that the wall charger has a 500 watt max. So you can actually charge in three hours, which is a huge improvement compared to the previous Jackery's. But using your car cigarette lighter adapter would take 15 and a half hours. So I would not even attempt to do that. But with solar, it still claims in four hours with 400 watts max. And check out this funny line that I just read. One Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel by itself can quickly charge the Explorer 1500 in only 18 hours. So they're assuming that you have four of their 100 watt panels, which last I checked, those are pretty expensive. Yeah, they're $300, holy cow. And unfortunately, you have to use an adapter if you wanna connect multiple panels to these individual inputs. I mean, just imagine if you do not buy the combo package of this with the solar panels, you'd have to spend about $1,200 just for panels. And today I can buy a 440 watt traditional monocrystalline for under $250. So in my opinion, those solar panels are overpriced. I hope you can actually connect your own solar panels to this. And obviously you can, but I don't want beginners trying to splice this out. And there's no MC4 adapter, so I don't think you can use your own solar panels. Gosh, that is unfortunate. I don't know if I like this thing at all, man, that's not cool. And all of the competitors nowadays allow you to use your own panels. So I feel like that's a huge downside. Let's see if there's a max input voltage rating so we know how many panels we can connect in series. And it says right here that the DC input max voltage is 30 volts, which is pretty unfortunate. When you put these panels in series, they create 40 volts. So that means these adapters are putting the panels into parallel, which means there is quite a bit of current when you have them all connected. So they're really trying to make it easy for beginners, but not for DIY people. This would be a pain in the butt to set up the max input voltage means that you're going to have to put four 100 watt panels into parallel and then you have two separate ports. You have to put 10.5 amps through each one. And that does not sound like a good time. Let me see if there's an adapter on their website. This seems ridiculous. I'm not seeing it on the website, guys. They have more carrying cases and other little doodads, but I'm not seeing anything. And if you think about it, every competitor, Bluetti and EcoFlow Delta, they all enable you to connect your own panels with MC4 adapters. So in my opinion, they're like a year behind. They always have pretty good products, like they are very solid cases and I think high quality, but man, they're just so behind when it comes to performance. So in my opinion, you could use this as a backup power source because it's very lightweight, but I probably would never use this as a solar power system. But it does say that it charges in three hours with the AC adapter. So let's test that out real quick. And right now we're using the 500 watt adapter and the best I'm getting is 260 watts. That doesn't make any sense. Let's try this input. Are we supposed to use an adapter for this as well? So this one's doing 261, but yeah, no improvement. And it says it will take 4.6 hours to recharge. So I don't know where they're getting that three hour figure from. Am I doing something wrong? There's no other ports on this machine. And all I can find in the manual is the AC wall charging indicator. And that is actually lit. So it knows that this is a wall charger, but we are not getting 500 watts. One downside of Jackery's is that they use a chemistry that's only rated for 500 cycles. So let's see if that's still true. And I'm not seeing any information in this manual. I don't like this manual. I like their previous ones though. Dang, this thing is sold out already. 500 cycles to 80% capacity. Everything on the market currently is using lithium iron phosphate, even EcoFlow. So I don't know who's gonna buy this thing. 
Like, why would you buy this when you can buy something significantly better for the same or less? I would actually prefer an older Blue Eddy over this. It has a better solar input, a longer cycle life. Literally everything is better and it costs less than this unit. And this AC charger is a huge disappointment. If someone can correct me here, I've tried both inputs and the best I can get is 261 watts, not 500 watts. So I'm not gonna test this any further. I don't think anyone's gonna buy it. I hope Jackery can improve this and add lithium iron phosphate and fix this input. Please notice what other competitors are doing and try to copy them or make it better because I do not like this input at all. Using these silly little adapters with that high of a current is just unnecessary in my opinion. And you also need an MC4 adapter. Everybody else on the market has one except for you. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and what they should improve. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.